Amy Craven was walking down this street in East Lake when this confrontation happened tonight. She's in a hospital bed recovering, though, is speaking out because she says she doesn't want anybody else to get hurt. Friday's brutal dog attack lasted 37 seconds. Amy Craven is the woman caught on camera. It's not just to me, but to my whole family. My whole family has been uprooted. Tonight, she's safe in a Seattle hospital, though her recovery will likely take months. Well, I was screaming for my life. I was like, if I scream, hopefully somebody will hear me. And then I thought, if I can crawl on top of this car, maybe I can get away. But the dog just had my leg so tough. Moments later, a man working nearby comes into frame. He manages to hit the dogs with a hammer getting the one on her leg to release. Right when I came outside the front doors there, saw our neighbor uh, out here fighting off the dogs off of the, the lady that was walking. Nearby workers pull her inside. Police, fire, and an animal shelter officer responded, determined the two dogs escaped from a nearby vehicle. Tonight, we have learned the dog's owner lived in a box truck with their owner. The two dogs were returned to that owner shortly after the bite, but the city tells me that during a checkup this weekend, the owner surrendered the dogs back to the city for the remainder of their quarantine. What if I was a child? I would have I would have been killed. A six year old little boy wouldn't have been able to withstand the trauma that I'm going through. Friday, neighbors and business owners pointed to the growing numbers of tents and RVs parked along Fairview Avenue East. For Craven, news that the dog came from a box truck confirms her fear that this may happen again. These dogs are about to take my life and they get to go back and live with their owner in a car. Well, here I am in a hospital bed. As for the future of these two dogs, the city says they will remain in city custody for the extent of the quarantine and the investigation before any decision is made about where they'll be placed. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.